First up, though, leaders in Jenkintown say they need to close a budget gap. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. To make ends meet, the borough could dissolve its police department. Right now, 11 officers protect a population of close to 4,700 people. Montgomery County reporter Kim Hudson spoke to the Jenkintown mayor and police chief, as well as residents who, as you can imagine, say they are very concerned. There's been plenty of times I had to call the police. Dan Katz and his family have owned West Avenue Grill in Jenkintown for more than 20 years. He is worried that the borough is considering possibly disbanding its police force. They are always quick, they're always here, and they really care about the businesses and making sure they're safe. Katz worries his customers, workers, and neighbors will face longer response times if the department closes. So he wants to know, will it? So I would say the answer to that is unknown at this point. Gabriel Lerman is the mayor of Jenkintown. The borough posted a notice on its Facebook page indicating a $600,000 budget shortfall for the department. He says business tax revenue is still recovering from COVID era closures. We've lost some businesses from the borough um, that we don't expect will come back at any point in the future. Jenkintown Police Chief Tom Scott says the borough cannot keep raising taxes on residents. He says one option may be to get coverage from Abington, whose leaders would not comment on the issue. But Chief Scott says he's not worried about response times if outsourcing becomes necessary. Abington surrounds the borough of Jenkintown on three sides. Abington police officers drive through the borough consistently 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Scott adds, if that happens, the department will help all of its 11 officers find new jobs. That is not good enough for Katz, who sees those officers as neighbors. You know, they have families at home. This is their life. And to take that away from them is something that's very disappointing to hear. Residents can share their concerns and learn more about the borough's options at a meeting tonight at 7. It will be here at the Borough Hall on Summit Avenue at Leadham Street in Jenkintown. Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.